and there we are. Hello, my name is Creostix, and welcome back to Max Payne. And I figured since I didn't uh, show the proper in-game intro last time, I, 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 I thought I might as well show it this time then. And then just let's uh, continue the game from Chapter 2, live from the crime scene. And indeed, the crime scene is this uh, uh, bank uh, spot where they have um, broken into. And they have a pretty good reaction time, I gotta give it to the- oh. And maybe change the guns a bit to this dude, and just- there you go. There. Could have gone better, but we're alive, and that's the important part. It's gonna be fine, I hope. Maybe. Uh. Ah, bunch of painkillers, thank you. There's a- Bone. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Fair point. But why did you answer the phone is... Uh, ah, there you are. Right, so... Vault C. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. If you say so, yes. And I can indeed only open one door at a time, so... I figure there might be something in Vault A as well. I don't remember exactly, but I think yes. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Ah. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Right, I got the detonator, so let's put Lady Liberty into orbit, then, maybe. So, uh, let's just enter the Vault B again and go back up the stairs. I don't remember anymore if there's new people in here. Maybe, I should be careful. Nothing so far. Just have this memory that there might be someone. Huh, okay. Ah! There we are then. There we go. A bit, uh, you know, rough around the edges, but we got it done, so that's good enough. And put that there and go away. We have opened the door. Ooh, Alex, I think. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you be through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Even though his eyes were facing away from me, but, but, but you see, the cold, accusing stare was so, so just, it just went through the entire, like, walls and around the world and all the way back into the, into the back of my head and I felt the accusing stare like through the curvature of the earth. Yeah, y yes. Oh, also, I think the shooter was glitching out a bit. I, I remember that scene so well that this Steam version has these weird glitches where uh, indeed he was walking in place for, for a little while so the character models for some reason get stuck in the geometry a lot in this. I don't know why. Because I know for a fact he was supposed to just walk down the stairs, not a uh, walk in place. Which, yes, no shit, the uh, character was not supposed to walk in place. Yes, true, I know, but still, it it it, uh, it was rather uh, odd. And then I can use up a few painkillers here, I think. Yep, now I'm all healed up, and, I, and, and there's one left if I need one. 
And I thought I saw a couple of boxes here. I might as well... Oh! No, I was not supposed to shoot them, but there we go. You have some Desert Eagle ammo, and yeah. Great, good. Okay, now then. Let's uh, continue... Ah! Got to turn around. Continue on with the... Uh... Oh, I have a grenade! Where did I pick that from? I'm not sure. But, that's good to, good to know. My Desert Eagle and Shotgun ammo are full, but Beretta ammo... You'll be fine when you're... Six feet under. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, one more. Indeed, I don't remember anymore how many people are in the sh in in each room, but we we got it done. It's fine. Also, I have only 18 bullets left in the dual Berettas. Just uh, uh, I should probably maybe switch up to the Desert Eagle or something. And there's the gate controls, and now I can leave from here. I think. Oh, sorry, my my bad. I I saw like the gate there closed, and I figured it wouldn't be opening up. But did I close the gate? Oh, I did. My bad. I I'm dumb. Yes. Okay, there we are, and outside. We got it done. That's. One more chapter done, I think. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Chapter 3, Playing at Bogart. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. Okay. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Pain to the max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, or you get some wino downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. <laughs> Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. Well, that's what happens when you run into the Finito like brothers. been blown. The door slammed shut behind me, and then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. So a normal Tuesday then. Okay, let's put you both down like the criminals you are. Come on. Come now. There you go. These bosses actually eventually get... Well, maybe hard is the wrong word, but they get the pretty uh, damage sponge. Like, you can empty oozies into them and only once. nothing. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an over-amped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Perfect, now we have a lead to go on then. Everything all right? Bosses, Joey, Vigilio, you're They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Hey, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, 
Hop. Oh crap. I was trying to do a grenade, but it didn't quite work out that way, so... Uh... Come on. Ooh, okay. Just had to grab what was, you know, quickly in the wheel of the... Uh, well, quickly close to the mouse wheel there with the weapons. So, well, we got to the pump action shotgun, but we got the job done, so it's fine. We're we're alive, we're kind of, you know... Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Well, then we gotta go downstairs anyway, though. Ah, a vibrating bed. How lovely. Yes. Oh. That text says Suomi Vodka. Suomi is Finland in Finnish. We call our country Suomi. So I had never seen that before. That's really cool. I didn't notice that ever as a, as a kid. Wow. That's really awesome. Well, in his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA special agent Alex Balder. Special agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. Based on what? The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. It sure seems like it, Max, yes. But yeah, like how, like, it, essentially, like, it, if we were, like, wondering about the story here, that would mean to me that, like, I know the story of the game, obviously, but I'm not trying to, I'm trying to not spoil things that wouldn't be evident immediately, so, uh, uh, he wasn't shot with my gun. And I don't think I left any immediate DNA on his, you know, person or such. So because he was on the other side of the grate and and or the gate and everything. So that leads to like that would like stand to reason that someone from the police force is corrupt and is pointing the finger at me for some very uh, nefarious reasons. Yes. Haha. -ha. And. From the window, we get outside to get some fresh air and clear our head of all this violence and madness. Yes, and then we. Something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Pain's gonna pay in Spain. What the hell? There we go. Nice explo. Okay. Nice explosion really helps, though. Yep, they're all dead and. Uh... We hopefully saved a couple of bullets, but yeah, I got got a bit hurt hurt there. I suppose I could go back to get more painkillers, but I don't I don't think I really need them. It's it's the game is not that hard, I think. Because I, I think there was at least one in the safe that I left there, but uh, I I I don't think I need it. It's gonna be just fine. Oh, okay. That door went off the hinges a bit. Oh, that actually something came out of the vending machine. That's pretty cool. Like a small touch there. The? Oh, hello. Ah. There we are. 301. Right. Okay. So not th not 313. Uh, nothing else in the cupboards or dressers or whatever. Cabinets. Lords and ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, what the whole new episode of Lords and Ladies brought to you in fun by Acer Corporation. There we are. Ah, Lords and Ladies, yes. My lady. My lord. My lady, that is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the colors of your hair. 
Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But, my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. <laughs> <laughs> ah, these in in game TV series things are very a uh, remedy and ent ent entertainment, you see. That's uh they're kind of a touch on games there. I'm not sure if I'll be s sitting through all the rest of those. There's a couple of more, I think, like or three or more, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's still kind of fun. I'm I'm not sure how well the audio of it comes through on the it's end video though. Oh, hi. I almost got hit really hard there. Ouch. Oh. And again, got lucky there. And the vibrating bed still works. Good, great. I think I remember one of these uh, had like a weapon under them, but not sure. I could be remembering it wrong. Okay, but I think we're good to go. Ah. Uh, I think I can break the lock with the pipe if I'm... Yep, there we are. Saving bullets every step of the way, you see, yes. Do, 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 do. Crap. <laughs> Ooh, careful. There we are, didn't use any bullet time either. Well, well, we used a bit of health there, though, so... Come, goes around, comes around, you see. And anything in the cabinet? Nope. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. Max's facial expressions are are pretty inter interesting sometimes in the <laughs> graphic novels there, but that's fine. Oh, well, that's a way to go. I think that's Valkyr as the ranges there. Huh. Well, rough night, I suppose. Then can I turn this that off? This been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I missed the show. I didn't remember that monologue, but okay, that's fair enough. And with that, we go forward. Yes. No one, no one. V head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. I actually don't remember if they attacked me. Hmm. There's some ammo there, but I think I'm good. Okay. Oh, ouch. I actually may have kind of forgotten to uh, save. Yeah, I forgot. There was no auto saving. I'll cut through this uh, section and I'll be back in a few moments. Yes. There we are, and just take out these dudes, and then you. There we are, much better, yes. Now, now we can go forward, indeed. So it didn't take luckily too long for me to get back here. I uh, sort of run uh, run past most stuff, but well, you know, and try to really, really quickly kill the things I needed to. I found Muerte's room. And I found Muerte's room, so. Haha! -ha. The trap Where missed. Received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. 
One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Well, that's then. Evidence might be important later on, but who knows, I suppose. Shotgun am ammo is full, but... Uh, might as well try. Painkill... Oh! Now, now we are also full of painkillers then, which is nice. And we can actually turn on the TVs for the snowstorm, like... Image. That's... I didn't remember that at all. Haha. <laughs> Interactivity, yes. So, and the music goes away when I go away from the room then. Oh! That was a hard shot. Sure. Okay. Well then, super quick uh, re-kill of these dudes then again. So you, and then you, and then you, and some painkillers, and before you get a chance to kill me, there you go. This is... Sure, I'm out of practice, but, but this is not as easy as I remembered it being. And that's actually kind of okay, because it's, you know, it's, it, 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 it's an action game, so, you know, I'm just checking this again. Yep, we're in here. Uh, painkiller, so we're one less painkiller good here, but beyond that, it's gonna be just fine. Okay. So, I got a feeling the, the junkie is gonna attack me when the bullets start flying, so... Might as well take him out of the way first. And then... just... Didn't mean to dive in with the, uh... Oh boy. There you go. Well, we used more bullets than I wanted to because, I, again, I was caught up in the doorways. The, that glitch is kinda distracting. It's making things more difficult than they need to be, but... Well, we got the job done and we can then, then go forward. And indeed, this... Thing opens up with some some damage, so might as well use a melee to uh, uh, avoid using bullets on that. So there we go. Oh, we have a blood trail here. Why? Should I follow it? And open one more. Uh... I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. Buff. Is it a reference to Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Because that it's a stake to do that, like a wooden stake. That's probably what they're going for. Ooh, Molotov cocktails. In in interesting. And a painkiller from the sofa. If I can just jump away from the sofa, can I? Ah, there. Difficult, but we got it done. Uh, does this open? No, I think this was like a secret room then. Or, well, secret being a relative word, but... Ah, the police are here! How lovely! Um... I don't remember anymore where I'm supposed to go. Crap, it's not supposed to be this hard. Come on, uh, I'm, I, I, I just missed something obvious, I'm sure. Let's go back and just see once more. There isn't, uh... Huh. Oh. Um, hmm. I'm sure I don't jump down. It's a long way, you know? Just checking. Nope. Okay, good. Now we know. And I don't go into the ceiling. Okay, I... I'm just... I'm blind, I'm sure, but I just missed an immediate door that's... Uh, ah! There we are. Ooh, there we go, didn't get any damage there, that's good. Oh! Oh, right, it's one of these. I forget if I can just shoot it. I, I can, yes. The, they mentioned the Russia wouldn't, the Russian wouldn't dare. Okay. Jump down, please. And let's one down. But I heard at least two people. There we go. 
Oh, well, there you go. Any more people? A junkie, but I know don't really have anything to do near him, so I think I'm, I'm gonna leave leave him alone for now. Hopefully for good, but uh, right. Anyone? The hooker had left her diary on the table. Oh. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. That's probably true, yeah. Mobsters and all that, and maybe important people, so, yeah. Not exactly good. Yep, the uh, vibration works. Ow! And here we have a... Uh... Yep, this is a recording booth then. Great. Good, lovely. Now... Where? I don't remember if they actually do come. They do come in the pair then. And again, got caught in the doorway. That's really annoying. Okay, there we are. And again, I will tr I will stress that, that that is only in the Steam version. That I, I have no memory of that ever being an issue in the physical release of the game back in the day with the typical normal patches. So... And I don't even remember if it needed patching really, really like, but, but but indeed, back in the day, I played through this a lot of times, and I remember that was oh, okay. I can actually use the ele elevator now. Oh, ch chapter four: the blood veins of New York. The old service elevator rubbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. If you say so. Very slowly. And and we are now out, ready to be outside here. But uh, this, I'm kind of running against the clock, and the chapter beginning is probably the best stopping point I'm gonna get. So I think I'm gonna call it here. But I do hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have, please do drop a like or a comment or even subscribe or share if you want to. It would really, really help. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.